All right. What do you have to say for yourself? I have to say that my back went out yesterday, so the timing of this particular studio upgrade is uh, you're going to see me wincing, and maybe during the course of the video, I'll have the old ice pack and back brace, uh, just like old times, right? Just like old times. I didn't do anything. I just did some deadlifts a little, a little too heavy. So <laughs> couldn't walk yesterday. Today, I can walk. So yeah. thank God for that. You're paying for it. I'm paying for it. So yeah. we're going to move it a little slower. So uh, tell everybody what the project is. You can see we have this taken down. You probably haven't even seen this one in most of the videos because it's always been off camera here. But tell everybody what the great plan is. For well, the, the great plan is I'm sick of looking at these horrible yellow beige walls in your videos. Which we can't, we can paint, but that we don't be a want paint. to. Yeah. So you have an alternative solution. Yes. Yeah, so our alternative solution is this. I know. I know, y'all. It looks amazing. And just to let you know, when you order them off Amazon, these are like 40 bucks for 52. So all we want to do is darken the room. They're not like these panels. These all got to ones are the real deal. But you pay $100 for six of them. And I paid $40 for 52 of these. It's not so much the acoustic uh, treatment properties, but we want to darken as much of the room as we can as a backdrop for the videos. Yeah, we want it to feel like an actual studio. Because one of our ideas is we want to do something together. So this particular area right here where we usually do the smart board stuff, yeah, it's a mess. You're so we're just, see, you're giving, we're giving me some a behind preview. the scenes. We want to actually have a desk here, a podcasting table that I can do the wrestling, the fitness, and then we can do our stuff together. Then this desk will be the editing production workstation that will go Right, what's my I am uh, I just I want to show everybody the amazing curtains. <laughs> that is a blackout curtain. Hey, it does the job that's never gonna be on camera after today. Well, can we give a little backstory? So the reason that's up there is because when I was doing voiceover in this room, we had actually packing blankets up there and we didn't want to hang anything and put holes in the wall. So we were like, let's command strip it. And then we just kind of... Well, we tried to, these. but we hit metal. Yeah, so we, we hit you know, metal on there. And that's probably the theme of this, too, is we rent right now. So we saw one of the YouTubers that I watch, Brad West, he does a ton of Final Cut Pro and studio type stuff. He had those foam panels, and he had the same problems. He's a rentor. He has... Rentor? Rentor. He has the... That's the way you say it in Britain. He, he has very light walls. So he couldn't control the light, he couldn't control the set. So when we darken everything, we we're kind of halfway there with the wood paneling, which we got to figure out. This might go in one of the garage gyms for a presentation type station. But we want to take all this down and then we're going to start putting up the panels here before we take this down. Yes. Then hopefully stretch them all the way across, mount the vibe board here. That way it'll be behind me and also it'll be a better... It'll be darker, so you don't get as much reflection off the light, hopefully, as you do right now. We're so, going to give you a grown-up studio. Yeah. Well, I, I'm going to play video games in here, too, so there, that counters me. Totally grown-up. It is. <laughs> so let's get started. Let's start. Oh, by the way, too, we're not nailing anything. We're not doing anything that's going to rip. But maybe this is a two-sided clear stickies. They're going to go on the back. See my back. Speaking now, you did back. get the removable stickies, right? Huh? Not the not the permanent adhesive stickies. I got the same ones that Brad got, even though these look different too than what well, Brad has. Well, this could be a fun video when we go to move. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's going to be great. All right, let's get started. All right, so can I just say we've already... You can't really see it because he's wearing all black, yeah. but the back brace has already come out. Yeah, five seconds in. So... so um, these are the two belts here. We're going to take these down. We're not sure if we're going to put them behind me here or keep them here after the panels go up. By the way, should I, you think I should sell these? No. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, it's heavy. That is heavy. It's heavier than I remember. So there. Hey, you could do a ladder match right now. Couldn't Look at do, that. Couldn't do one before. So. <laughs> okay. So do do the, the people know that you're scared of heights? I am scared of heights. You are. But if you pay me enough, I'm not scared of heights anymore. <laughs> Okay, can do the pub. There we go. <laughs> so these are two belts, and I'm not going to sell them. I was kidding. These are very, very uh, sentimental to me. 
Uh, the guys from Wrestling Your Tragedy made me this, a replica of the EZW tag belt, and then the custom BWO belt right here. Uh, Mini and Nova also have one of these, so there's only three right now, and we have three of them. And here's that photo that, that photo. you guys maybe have never seen, which is pretty cool. Minimum five figures if you want me to wear that BWO outfit again. We have to bring it out of the shadow box. <laughs> for five figures, I'd do it. I'm not worth that, but maybe yes, you are. Off the pad. All right, we're going to take these down, and then we're going to start putting up the, uh, the foam panels. Who on my back already? Are you excited? No. <laughs> At least you're honest. Thank you. I like it. Now, we did make one mistake. It was my mistake because I went all the way over here because I didn't want to go too far because this isn't even going to be on camera. That's why it was a mistake because if you're going to do this, come into the corner right here, start in the corner. That's a big mistake. We'll have to cut. It's not a big deal if you have extra panels, but if you don't, you need to go from the edge here and then go this way. So the opposite of what we did, because this is never going to be on camera anyway. So I wanted to take them down after about a row and a half, but you said... No. Okay. Because yeah. then it's just wasting glue dots and we'll have extras. We can cut the extra to fit in that little gap from one panel. So all we need is one left over. Yeah. We'll make it work. But when we start the big wall, we will definitely line it up in the corner that's gonna be on camera. If they're wondering why we're not going all the way to the ceiling, um, that guy Brad West who watched the video, we're gonna put LED strip lights that are battery powered so we don't need to plug it in. And we're gonna put that all the way around the top of this. So they're gonna have some good like blue or red or whatever color kind of shining down on that. So You're giving away all the secrets. There's no secret. Just watch Brad's video. I stole all the ideas. No gatekeeping here, people. All right, so can I make an observation? Sure. You're going to have to change your filming color because you kind of just blend in with the background now. Oh, you mean I have to wear different colored shirts? Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. Hmm. I only got like blue, black and blue. That's about <laughs> it. Um, so here was where we're at right now. I think it looks really good. You think it looks really good? I do. Good? I really like it. It took a lot of the, like, shine off of the light because of the bright wall, right? So it's now it's a little more muted. Here's where we're at right now. And I think the decision we're going to make since we got so many panels is taking this down. It's starting to bow a little bit. It was kind of not a permanent solution. But even if we take the panel... We got to make a move anyway because it's going to overlap and I don't want to squeeze it in. So we're going to take the drill, take down the wood paneling, and then what? What do we do with this? I don't know. We'll find something. Maybe one of the garage shims and have yeah. it like a display background. It's or nice. Um, I mean, clearly it's particle board, but it does make a nice backdrop for something. So I like photography. Or yeah, something we'll thing. figure out something. Maybe even try to put it over there. But then we're going to have the editing and, you know. I like, just want to, like, l look at this with all the beige. And then you come over here and it's just so much more professional like looking. Look yeah. Like those look good. That's awesome. Good idea. It was her idea, not mine. I'm going to take that. Yeah, I would my still idea. have a Home Depot plastic TV stand if it wasn't for <laughs> you. Yeah, back brace. So, all right. Ready to keep going? Let's do it. Oh. <laughs> Almost <laughs> fell. Almost fell. Are you drunk? <laughs> I wish I was. I feel a lot better right now. <laughs> Look at that. Looks really good. Now, this part of the video is where we're kind of not stuck, but we're trying to make a decision. Maybe you can leave a comment below. Let me know. But I think what we're going to do right now is go all the way across with this and keep the vibe board. That's our smart board that we use for the Wrestling Analysis Patreon. But I wanted to hang it. We have the no stud mount here, and I wanted to hang it in the middle. We even marked it off where we would have it, but the glare from the light, from the studio light, has always been an issue. That's why I rolled around on the uh, built-in stand, but what do you think? I am of opinion that the stand is really bulky and it should be mounted. I think it's going to be a nice, clean presentation. We can hide the cord underneath there and plug it in. You have two places to plug it in. And I don't think the glare is going to be that bad because you have it up now with a little bit of a glare. But it's up to you. Well, oh, who is going to win? 
Probably do. <laughs> the, the, the thing I'm thinking of is, like I said, this desk here, which is a mess, will become the editing and production or live stream station against that wall. We'll move the Elgato panels over that if I got to do any kind of voiceover stuff. Then, this is where I was podcasting before, and we might pick that up again. Wait, what? wait, can you go like this? No. Like, can you, can you say, can't see me? No. Can't see, can't see this? How did it, what, how'd it go? You can't see me. Can you do it? No. <laughs> but I we'll can't see it. you. Why? Is it really that bad? <laughs> Where, where'd you go? I'm not you, that. You, you can't see him. <laughs> you can see me just fine. So that's, that's why we kind of stopped here because I'm not quite sure. And the TV's already marked off in the center. It's probably going to have these panels behind it if we did mount it. But I don't know. But it does look a lot better. It's going to darken the room and make it uh, easier to light, I think. Yeah. You're going to be able to control the light, yeah, a whole lot better, I yeah, think. Let's see. Just a quick test. Ooh. And then you're going to have the colored lights up at the top. Yeah. So I think, oh, now I, I can see you. Yeah. Great. <laughs> the only thing we have to worry about now is, like, where do we put the shadow box, the BWO shadow box? Where do we put the belts? Where do we put that poster? You said if we start hanging a ton of stuff up, it's gonna start to look cluttered. Yeah, or do I think really we, do, do you think like we this. Put it as a display wall there. When maybe I'm I think we maybe create another wall for you for a but filming you think space. This being plain, it's I probably really the way. like it. Well, looks... Let me keep it plain, and then we try. That's an our that's an our reason with the TV. Yeah, it breaks. But I don't think the TV is going to. I think the TV would look good because you can put your logo back there. If you're talking about something, it can be playing behind you while you're in front of it. And it's it's a light source to me. It's going to break up the dark. But I think if you start hanging too many things on these, it's going to be a distraction against the nice dark surface. That's just my opinion. I could be totally wrong. No, you're usually right. You're <laughs> usually wrong. All right, let's, let's, let's try mounting the TV. We're going to mount the TV? Oh, God. It could be a five thousand dollar mistake. I will take ownership. No, you won't. Oh. If it if it's a no. yeah, if it sucks, then we just unmount if it, it and take it off. If it sucks, then we lose our only thing that makes us money on the wrestling Patreon. I mean, you gotta live, right? We'll give it a shot. We'll try. <laughs> oh my God! Yay! Look at this. Not even done yet. Not even done yet. So you can see we decided. So you're right. I told you. It looks good. You're always, you're always right. going to have the glare no matter what. So I'll work on that. Yeah, you can reposition a light, but I think that looks really clean up yeah, there. Yeah, really nice. Also, what we're going to do is we decided since I sit down most times with the podcasting and stuff, we're definitely going as low as we can. Not all yeah. the way to the to the baseboard, but we're going to go probably at least one row lower without covering up the outlet. So, and here we have kind of a homemade base trap but <laughs> basically like i said in the beginning we should have went from the corner here then the corner that way but you know you cut them perfectly great <laughs> job base traps right here we have a sticky here but these are literally just kind of stuffed in just here. wedged in yeah They're wedged in so we're going to take these stickers put it in here and then go all the way down one down more one row, more yeah all the way across and then the top you're leaving, right? Because you're going to run your yeah. lights the, the across LED there. The strip lights are going to run all along here. By the way, we got enough panels left where we could probably work on this side. I even talked about putting the Elgato wave panels. Mm -hmm. Oops, oh, my finger. On the ceiling to get them out of the way, but also to, to, to kill some of the reflection and reverb. These aren't real acoustic panels, but yeah. as far as high end. But they do, you're right. They darken the room. Yeah. And, I think it was a much better up. option for us because... What's this look like just with here with me back here? You're hot. No, you're hot. <laughs> so, no, but I do think it's a better option than paint because even though they're not true acoustic panels, they're only an inch thick, they are going to help. We're not doing professional voiceover or anything. We're just trying to make it look like a studio. Yeah. And we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, this is my favorite version of the studio. And once again, just for the record, you were right about that. <laughs> I was nervous. You know, it, it, it's just awesome. It's All right. Stuff. We're going to keep going. My yeah, fingers get, are numb though, y'all. We got to get back to work. <laughs> I, bought a, I bought a Culver's. Yes, we got, we got some Culver's for a snack. But I'm just going to let you know, 
these things will make your fingers go numb. So have fun if you're going to do this at home. We appreciate you. <laughs> All right. So we should have known that it was going too smooth. Well, you know what? I'd rather have this go bad than that fall down from the mount. Agreed. So, so we wanted to put LED strip lights. We ordered these off Amazon. And you can imagine when you order something off Amazon and you don't know the name of the brand, uh, <laughs> chances are you're going to have a defect. What happened when I tried to plug them in? Uh, the plug literally came apart and they would not stay lit. So I would go at an Elgato, a Govi, probably one of the brands that they're more expensive. This is like 20 bucks. So if I spend 30 or 40, we're probably going to get a quality one. Also, yeah. I thought I wanted battery powered ones. That's ideal. But you said we do have a plug over here. We have a plug, yeah. We can run this straight down and then over there. And it might actually add some kind of ambiance going this way. Yeah. The garbage. <laughs> oh, geez. Oh, no. Don't break them. You can't get your money back. No, no I'm going to. <laughs> I don't care what Amazon tries. Did you open it? But look I how just, nice this looks. We, we went one more down. And then I'm just going to show you, we cut out. You, you cut it. I cut out around the plugs. So he has all of the outlets. You tack down the wires. Yeah, we tack down the wires down here. It gives it a little bit of play. So we're making what sure. At the top, we got plenty of foam panels left. I'm thinking, because look. Look at everything we got left. But look, look at my view. If you've got the camera back here and you're filming, that's I'm all. Some up there. Oh, you're not? Well, I could. Ooh. I don't think so because I'd be standing right here. What do you think? I'm getting right here. I'm getting that corner. Look. All right. We got one more row. To all right. Think. We got one more row. But what do you think so far? I love it. You were right about hanging this up and doing everything. And I think, guys. Let me know. See if you agree with me. I think we should put some colored lights behind the TV. Oh, we can do that. We got a USB port. So hey, if we... I'm trying to talk to my people here. Sorry. I'm trying to get a vote from the people. Let me know what you think. <laughs> and we're going to get you some, some new curtains. <laughs> those, those are pretty shoddy. <laughs> All right, we're coming along. If we had strip lights to work, we could test it out right Yeah, now. I know. That would be awesome. But we don't. We're going to get right. new ones. More work to do. More work. All right. Back to work. Okay. We're almost done. We still have these things. We're gonna actually going to make an accent wall. We decided with the wrestling stuff, take down the Elgato wave panels, figure out a place for those. But essentially, wow, I'm glad I didn't <laughs> want a whole lot of those when I wrestled. All right. So this is it, uh, except for lighting and other stuff. Strip lights didn't work. But you did a great job, baby. Thank you, you did a much. great job. This was a great idea. This. Definitely, definitely want everybody to just let us know what you think. This desk may go against the wall where the belts and everything will go as an editing workstation. But right now it's going to stay here. Put everything. We got a little bit of ones that bow out a little bit, but we have extra stickies. And we're still thinking that these might expand. Like, look, some of the stickies come undone, but that's okay. We have plenty of stickies. And we're thinking that they still might expand because we didn't give them a full 24 hours. Well, we were supposed to, the ones we got, according to Brad's video, were already expanded. Yeah, two, so two we, inches. And these are one inch. We got the ones that are vacuum yeah. we happen to have. But they still, when they're up, you can't, no. you can't even tell. This is the main shot right here. Like, if you back up, this is where most of the stuff yeah. is going to be done. Hi. <laughs> so that'll be main, what we have. And then over here, where we were sitting with the belts and everything behind us, will now be the acoustic panels. We just got to figure out if we're going to add anything to this. Get a little coming off right there. That's fine. That's a little stuff. So it is a little humid in here, so it's probably... Yeah, Florida. But that's about it. Um, this is actually going up early for patreon.com forward slash Stevie Richards. Patreon supporters, thank you so much because of your support. We're able to do these studio upgrades. But we're going to upgrade. Up, upgrade. We're going to upgrade. I don't want to upgrade anything <laughs> soon. But we're going to upload this to the Stevie Richards Fitness Channel too because a lot of stuff that we do now includes... Oh, yeah, I hear that. Is that okay? It includes, <laughs> includes a smart board that we can write on and demonstrate and compare products. So we're really up in everything that we can do. It's just a matter of having all this as clean as possible. <laughs> so the next thing is probably going to be one of those auto polar impact variables 
to bring the lights and everything off the floor. Yeah. So let's just go watch some. Uh, we watched the watch the librarian. We did. Yeah, we Wait, how's that. your back though? It hurts a lot right now. That's why I'm saying let's let's stop. All right, we are done. If I'm laughing, you know I'm. <laughs> we are I'm, done I'm, for I'm today. A lot of pain. Thank you guys so much. God bless you. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm very blessed to have <laughs> you. So God bless you guys. Have a great day. Bye.